it's a storybook lane on the Central Coast with outdoor dining that helped businesses stay afloat. But now Solvang is looking to increase parking options. KSBY's Aaron Fay is on Copenhagen Drive in Solvang with the latest. Good morning, Aaron. Good morning, Janelle. In just a few minutes, the city of Solvang will have people come out and clear out these barricades that you can see behind me. And today, people can start driving and parking here on Copenhagen Drive. It will be early in the morning, so when everyone, when the town wakes up, it will be as if these barricades were never here. Solvang's Copenhagen Drive will be open to traffic Monday morning for the first time since the summer of 2020. The city removed the temporary outdoor dining, including parklets, to free up around 60 parking spaces. Some people that we have are concerned about uh, being indoors when this thing is essentially still around. Uh, so there is that factor too. Uh, but there's no question that being outdoors helped us with business uh, over the last two years. The city says they are open to talking about permanent outdoor dining options within the next six months, but that the parklets during the pandemic were temporary. It's not exactly that nice, quaint feeling that the city is looking for. Uh, so we're talking about actually doing a project that, that will make it great, that will have you know the, the feel and all of the infrastructure that the little promenade needs to have. You know, it needed, it needed some improvement. I mean, it started out as a makeshift measure and, and we kind of uh, dressed it up a bit and yeah, it could certainly look better, but that, that could be addressed. One visitor said she did not think that having the parked cars would take away from the charm of the city. I grew up coming here like every other month and I, I don't feel like it took away from the aesthetic or anything I've enjoyed. I've enjoyed solving, so I don't think that it affects it at all. <laughs> For the next six months, the city says they will continue to collaborate with small businesses to discuss permanent outdoor dining options. Reporting live from Solvang, Aaron Fay, KSBY News.